beautiful welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm isa and this is my journey of becoming a better me in like all areas of my life how are you guys i hope you guys are doing well i've had a kind of an emotional week i have had like days where i'm just like mm -mm. and then i had a day yesterday that was just really emotional and i felt like i was really frustrated and so um, i had a little cry and yeah i was just kind of frustrated with like just being bothered by certain things that i can't actually change right now because i i'm in my mind i have everything planned out and i want to do what i want to do in the same time and everything and then i learned that god's timing is everything and like there are some things that, that are just not gonna come to pass just yet which i'm okay with but i felt like i was just really just frustrated in my mind i tried to go out to pick up the girls and i just got all emotional because like my hair wasn't right and all that stuff and it was just a little bit too much yeah i was just kind of frustrated you know i feel like sometimes when you um overthink or you plan ahead and you you have it all set out then there's always something that tries to take you from your high take you from like the boldness that you have and i think that was me yesterday it was like i had good days and i was like go, doing well and then there's always something that jumps into the back of your mind and then you kind of listen to that rather than listen to god or listen to what you're meant to be listening to and so that was me yesterday i was just like really emotional but apart from that i've had a good week um kids are back at school they had a half term holiday from school but they're all back now and they were unwell as well so like had to deal with that so i've just been like recouping from taking care of the household that's been unwell and then i've also just been back on track with things that i need to do so yesterday i literally just like had a cry and i just put on some worship music and i just sat there and just journaled like literally just wrote down everything that was popping up bothering whatever i just let it all out and then i felt a lot better now um yeah i do feel good today i am just going to sort out the uh, kids wardrobe i was looking yesterday on h&m kids and i've just seen how beautiful some of these clothes are and i'm like oh my gosh i need to get um some clothes for the kids <laughs> because they've all had a growth spurt and they've kind of had the growth spurt at the same time so i need to like take out things that don't fit anymore um, i just recently bought them new pajamas but um yeah i need to get them some new clothes stuff like that and i'm gonna take a trip to h&m actually just to see how things look because i saw some really really pretty 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 items on um their website the girls wardrobe mainly just clear out some stuff it's a bit of a mess and just sort it out and then that's all i'm kind of really doing today and then later on i'm gonna pick up the girls um i'm not cleaning anything today i'm kind of just rested because of how i felt yesterday i'm just basically just taking an easy day today actually also bought me some flowers yesterday some tulips because i was upset and he wanted to cheer me up so i need to pop those in a vase but the thing is i do not have any vases anymore i think they broke and it was actually our wedding vase like we had like the centerpieces on every table i had three of them left and I can't find any of them so i'm gonna have a look maybe it might be in a store cupboard somewhere but yeah i don't have any anything else <laughs> and that was the last like sort of pieces of the wedding that we have oh no we all have, also have the tea light holders from our wedding that i use that when i'm having a bath and stuff so we have those that's left, left of our wedding but um yeah it's just um yeah so i need to i feel like every time i'm trying to tick something off my list like to do with the home then something else comes up that i have to buy so now i have to add vases to my list which is fine it's fine i like shopping for home goods anyway before i get started on anything actually i'm just going to be in the word for a little bit and share with you guys what i read for my devotion today um i don't know what i'm reading yet so i'm gonna dive in. i'm still kind of reading proverbs every now and again i like to read the proverbs and psalms just to get your wisdom up i'm following like this bible chart thing so i'm gonna see what it says for today and you know what god is so timely so i feel like how i was feeling yesterday i wonder how it will coincide with the word today don't you find that like when you're feeling a certain way you have a thoughts or whatever um and then you read the word and it's like just what i needed to hear this is all you go and hear a sermon it's like that's just what i need to hear and you know sometimes when i don't do bible study like if i didn't do bible study for a few days or a particular bible study for a few days and then i come back on it it literally is timely to where i'm at and i'm always laughing like god you are so funny like you are just the way you're, the way you work around me is amazing like because he's god you know gotta give it up to god <laughs> Oh, 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 
So in Zephaniah 317, the word mist stood out for me, which means in the middle of, interior, central part, which basically God is saying like, I am within you, I am part of you. And then the breakdown for the rest of the verse is basically God saying that he's proud of you and you've come so far and God will reassure you his love, there's no need to question it. So many possibilities, so many things you can do, you can have so much confidence. And so for me, the way I was feeling, feeling frustrated, it makes me feel a lot more calm and less frustrated about the situation and I know that God is within me and he loves me so much that nothing else really matters when we focus on so much of the other things we kind of lose focus and the focus is God the focus is our relationship and our fellowship with Christ and so I can just pick myself back up again and slowly each day move towards worshiping him and letting go of the things that are frustrated and know that because he's in me he's the mist of me that everything's going to be okay I found a jar it's just an empty like ikea jar that i found that nothing's in it so i just cleaned it because the vase that i did find at the wedding one is too tall and these are like quite short tulips it, they're quite short already so i won't need to um it would look weird if it was in a tall glass but anyway i'm going to talk to you guys about self-care and taking the time for you so um hang on. let me get some scissors taking the time for you as a mom, I think it's super, super important because, you know, you need that time kind of thing. And sometimes we don't have time to do like the whole shebang, like the whole bath pampering, the whole going out and doing something extravagant. We don't have time. And you might only have like 5, 10, even 15 to 20 minutes. And so I just want to give you some ideas, things that I do or you can do if you have 15 to 20 minutes. You can pot some flowers. <laughs> really helpful it takes your mind off of things i love arranging flowers i love putting things together and so i take my time with this and just think and as i said flowers are just so pretty and these are things that i do basically is just take the time so if you've got like 15 minutes you can pop some flowers or rearrange your flowers or change the water of your flowers or even water your plants just take something that helps your emotional self-care by tender into something and giving something else servanthood which is really nice what idea is that you can go for a walk and just fill this up with water yeah so i've got some water now so you can go for a walk um just like wake up really early and do that walk or just go for a walk or maybe you walk your dog walk your pet you know have that time to just take in the atmosphere and enjoy you know the scenery and things like that and get some fresh air fresh air does am amazing to to us you know when we go outside and also there's a prayer walk as well like i've not gone on a prayer walk before but i've heard the idea and i think that is something that i want to do is go on a prayer walk i think that would be really interesting it's basically just walking for however long you're on a walk and then you um just pray and talk to god and then I guess that's kind of it. So that might be interesting to do if you had like 15 to 20 minutes, you can go for a prayer walk as well. You can always try a face mask if you're home and like if you've got kiddies and they're sleeping or they're busy doing their own thing. How about you try a face mask? I love a face mask. I usually do a face mask by myself or I do one with my daughters because when they see me, they have they can't help but join in. So a face mask would be nice and face mask you kind of leave on for about 10 to 15 minutes anyway. So um, that might be a nice idea to have. And here's an interesting one, which I can't do because I can't play any instruments, but I think if you had 10 to 15 minutes, play an instrument of your choice. Like if you're good at drums, guitar, flute, whatever it is, because that's what my husband does. Um, when he has some time and he just wants to take some time alone, he goes and plays his guitar and he comes back all refreshed. If you play an instrument, that might be an interesting thing to do if you had some time. Now here's one for the mum mums. If you had 15 minutes, go and lay on your bed. Just lie down and just stare at the ceiling and just, you sometimes need a breather and I feel like that's me sometimes where I'm just sitting there like <laughs> like literally just I just need a minute okay so if you're a mom you can take 15 minutes of just laying there and just thinking about don't think about the next thing to do think about somewhere where you want to be on a beach somewhere let your mind travel let your body unwind relax into the bed don't go in the covers because you might fall asleep but just lay on your bed and relax and i promise you that you will feel a lot better afterwards
And as well as doing flowers, if you're someone who likes gardening or you have a garden or um, allotment and things like that, you can go do some gardening. I've heard it does help with uh, mental health as well. So you can get your hands dirty in the mud or the grass or the soil and, you know, just relax within that. That's a good idea to do. If I have, when I get a garden, I will be trying to do gardening. I'm not really a green fingered person, but I will try it and join in. I don't know, I don't really like it. <laughs> When I was younger, my mum used to always try to make me like help her with the garden. Uh, oh man, I'd just be run, running around the house. I do not want to be in the garden doing stuff. I really didn't like it. But I think as I'm older now, maybe I could try, right? It won't hurt to try. One thing I like doing as well, if I've got a few minutes, I'd use with the kids or by myself, is I put music on and just dance. And just literally just have it like a five, 10 minute bubble and just release the energy like in my neck and just laugh with the kids or with the family and that helps me take my mind off things because it's like oh it's not so bad after all yes i have lots to do yes my kids are screaming or my kids are making a lot of noise uh, but i'm gonna take this time to just dance and relax and it has i do it all the time i'm always messing about and i think that's one so it's just a nice way of just having that little bit of self-care to get that emotional energy just flowing through your body you can always be really caring and call a friend or text a friend just have a little conversation just to check in and see where your friends are at or where your family's at check in on someone for the 15 minute self-care just talk and laugh you just don't know where that could lead to maybe you can now meet have a chance to create another meet up to meet up with them or you may be able to help them in a situation or they may be able to help you just reach out and show someone some love in the 15 minutes of your self-care Another thing that I always love is to journal, right? If you have a few moments and you have a lot on your mind, take a moment, sit down and journal. I journal all the time or I write little notes on my phone and it does help. It's just like, oh, okay, I can put it somewhere physically and then deal with it later. You can always stretch as well. I love stretching. Um, I have a little bit, of, little bit of a back issue. So in the morning or if I like doing too much as a mom and I just sit down and my back hurts then I get back up and I try and stretch it out or put on a YouTube video to do like a 10 minute stretch and it does help then I just relax because um what you don't want is to have that build up in your body because it causes more stress into you I just want to have a peaceful peaceful life I think I should do that tape idea with this vase because right now it's looking like this um, I'm not sure if I should have done that tape thing where you put the tape across. You can always paint your nails as well. Like if you have time to have a mini mini manicure, paint your nails, redo your nail polish, or maybe just do a hand massage or a feet massage or soak your feet for 15 minutes, 10 minutes in like a foot spa, like a homemade one. Um, that's nice as well. Just to have to sit there and just breathe and be like, mm. And I have time today, honey. I need to relax. That's how I go. I need to actually get order myself a foot spa for home because oh, at the end of the day, just have a cup of tea and just sit <laughs> and put your foot in that. Yes, that's the aim for me. I need to do that. Let's do the silicate thing. Okay. So these have turned out so beautiful. Oh, I've got one more left. These have turned out so cute. I really love these. I don't think I've ever had tulips before, actually. I like that there's white ones in there because I love white roses, so I like white flowers. And these are really pretty. If I did that tape thing, would it work? Not really. Okay. I'll put a little string around it. But yeah, this is how it's turned out. I might put like a little string around it just to bring it closer, but these are so pretty i love them and they're gonna go on the window or should i put in my bedroom anyway the last thing that i would say to do for a self-care is to read is to just sit curl up and read and that's what i like to do i definitely enjoy sitting back and curling up with a good book i'm really into reading this year and i feel like it's going to help me intellectually emotionally and the book i'm reading now is called beautiful outlaw which is a very very nice book and a nice turn of the bible it basically takes up stories of the bible and homes it in into a more more of a story like so you can grasp the emotion behind maybe the stories that have happened or even events that have happened or get to know Jesus on a personal level so it's called Beautiful Outlaw and I'm just gonna sit and read this book and I'll speak to you guys in a little bit.
it's Anaya's birthday coming up. She's gonna be seven. I totally forgot that I had order, <laughs> ordered her gifts and stuff. Um, so it's just arrived and I'm expecting some more gifts from Amazon later. Um, so her birthday's coming up and I'm just basically preparing. I like to prepare a couple of weeks, not a couple of weeks, but like well in advance because I don't want any hiccups and like to upset my children. So yeah, I have ordered it and it's just come and now I have to figure out where to hide it. But when Ashley comes, he'll do that because <laughs> I'd never know to hide the gifts and stuff. So yeah, I've ordered her stuff and we're gonna take her out and we're gonna go to dinner and it's gonna be so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. 